So do you want to watch Cop Doctors or Doctor Cops or Copter Docs or Cookie Are you struggling to decide which bright stream of flickering photons and erratic audio waves might combine in such a way as to lull your seldom used body into another night of sweet, sweet unconsciousness? I mean, I guess, but nothing looks very good. Maybe we could just, like... Have a conversation. Whoa! <laughs> Let's not do something you'll regret. What you need is Hortflix. The premier movies, but on the internet, but not porn service, perfect for ensuring night after night passes peacefully with zero opportunities to confront the burgeoning physical and emotional intimacy issues that have trapped your relationship in a meandering death spiral. Hi, I'm Roger. And I can assure you that Hortflix has thousands of viewing options, a handful of which are kind of good, from old shows that won't allow you to capture your youth no matter how loudly you laugh to yourself through the shared wall of your apartment, to new films featuring only the most cash-grabbing stars, most forgettable plots, and most passably competent production values. Hortflix has everything a person needs to role-play somebody somewhere caring about their existence. Well, we already pay for other streaming services. Like so many streaming services. That's because other shittier services like Jordan Plus or Breeding Max lure viewers with some must-see show. And then before you can look up, you're seven seasons deep into some Belarusian soap opera because you were too lazy to stop their aggressive autoplay feature. But only Hortflix has both a popular workplace sit Come from when you could still get out of bed without audibly groaning, and a brand new prestige drama about the most recent Silicon Valley scandal called Aptastrophe, or The Student. Ooh, that sounds great. Doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, don't look at the reviews and make sure to really soak in the first two seasons we'll make before abruptly canceling it once the creative talent starts asking for more money. But, but what makes Hortflix different? Like, do you have cool indie stuff? Initially, yes. We'll include some art house crap with some decent titties thrown in, alongside 12 dozen 90s movies starring talking babies. But we'll actually wean you off the critically acclaimed stuff by slowly removing them in favor of shiny new Hortflix originals. We'll aggressively market for a month or two before letting them vanish into the great content ether. Yeah, uh, maybe we should just play video games or something video games. They're just a fad. And how are you going to compete with Vincent Van Gogh, complete with incomprehensible action scenes and jokes ripped from 1980s stand-up routines? We'll promote it in a thousand movie blogs by claiming it somehow cost $200 million to make. And once enough people throw it on in the background while they do laundry or weep openly, we can call it a success and repeat the whole joyless process so you'll remain forever stapled to your furniture of choice. Hey, it's not like I just watch TV all night every night. Sometimes I read a book. I stare at my phone until I wake up the next day. Wonderful. Do you want to sign up for our basic tier, which comes with ads, or our premium tier, which comes with ads? Ads? That just sounds like regular TV. You actually can pay to add those real television channels, complete with even more ads the streaming model was meant to circumvent before we balkanized into a patchwork of ever-growing subscription fees you forgot you're paying. I guess this Hortflix original about a ghost that's haunted by another ghost looks okay. Well then hurry, click on it. We'll never release our shows on physical media, and they could leave Hortflix at any moment for any reason. You'd better cram as much digital buzzing into your cranium as you can before your chance to ingest vampire house hunters is gone forever. I guess I am pretty comfy. That's the spirit. Sit back. Enjoy the soothing sounds of content. Don't think about the growing number of studies that have linked binge watching to sleep deprivation, unhealthy eating habits, blood clots, depression, and a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. 
What? Look, we have a whole category called formulaic and morally uncomplicated legal procedurals set in cities you can find on a map. That ought to knock off several hundred hours from your fleeting mortal existences. I've been Roger. And I'll raise the monthly fee again once they're hooked. I'll just steal the password from my parents. Give me a f you. <laughs> f you. <laughs> f you. Oh, this is the content that the <laughs> wants. <laughs>